What you're looking at is not a video, it's a game. Maybe not a full game, but even though it's just a demo, it's a great example of what a game engine like Unreal Engine 5 is capable of when it comes to realism. And while it's exciting to see how far we've come in the past 20 years, it also begs the question, how much realism do we really need for our video games? Here's two examples, Firewatch and Hellblade 2. Two completely different games, and while, yes, Firewatch was released in 2016, my points will still be relevant. These two games are both incredibly popular games, but only Hellblade 2 looks like it's getting close to that realism I mentioned before. Not because of the fact that it was released nearly a decade later, no, the reason is actually art direction. And that's my main point honestly. Firewatch doesn't look realistic because it doesn't want to. The art in Firewatch is stylized and in its own way incredibly beautiful. Personally I find it one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. It doesn't need to look realistic to achieve that. Hellblade 2 on the other hand is trying its best to look as realistic as possible while still in a fantasy setting and it is mind blowing how beautiful it is. The photo mode forces you to look twice just to make sure you're not secretly looking at a real life picture or video. Deciding whether a game needs to look as realistic as possible kinda depends on the game. Call of Duty makes sense to try and look like real life, but something like Destiny doesn't. But for the games that do want to look as real as possible, when is it enough? When can we say, good job, you did it, now go make games fun again? I honestly think we're nearly at that point. There's a few body cam games in development right now that are so close to reality that it's starting to feel less like a world you escape to and more like a copy of the world we already live in. If a game looks the same as the world you live in once your eyes are away from the screen, have we gotten too far? Basically what I'm asking is, when a game takes away the fantasy you were there for, why would you still want to play it? And I know that to each their own. And I'll probably be playing plenty of extremely realistic looking video games myself and think, wow, this looks incredible. But I hope to keep seeing stylized games as well. Games that have personality, character, and heart. Rather than games that try to look like my backyard. No matter what every hardcore Call of Duty fan will say, most people play games for the experiences, not for their realism. I don't play Dark Souls and complain about how I should still be getting hit when a sword slices through me while I'm rolling because that would happen in real life. And I don't play Minecraft to complain about the blocks floating in the air, or for that matter, the fact that the world is made out of blocks in the first place. We play games to immerse ourselves in worlds other than our own, to give us a feeling of fantasy in every definition of the word. Realism doesn't necessarily add to that fantasy, while a stylized world can. A game like Firewatch wouldn't feel nearly the same if it looked like a real forest with real fires. It would never be able to sell you the fantasy that it does now so beautifully. Cause stylized games already tell a story through their visuals alone, which realistic games simply can't. Because when something looks just like everything else, there won't be anything new to say. At least not without words. Anyway, that was my yearly reminder to you to play Firewatch. Y yeah, alright. Subscribe. See you next time.